What's up? It's Nihal from Dr. Ann Farm D. Oh god, I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers. I'm out here in sunny California. It's like super cold, but it's still California. Um, basically, I wanted to make a quick video um, talking about um, the NAPLEX and the MPJE. So recently I took my NAPLEX and MPJE and I passed them both. Oh, look at this kid passing his Netflix and MPJE. I don't want to show the score because I'm embarrassed about it. Congratulations, Nihal. Thank you. <laughs> I am pretty awesome. On a more serious note, um, this is just some advice for people who graduated pharmacy school recently or will be graduating pharmacy school um, in the near future, like 2020. So, um, first of all, I gave myself three weeks to take this exam, but I mean, I'm more of a procrastinator, so um, I'd end up studying for this exam in two weeks anyways. So I guess what I want to say is this exam is totally doable in two weeks. Um, and I can give you guys some advice on what I did to prepare for it. First off, I started by using the RX prep book. Um, I mean, the standard, literally every pharmacy student has that. And basically, if you look at the, is it here? That guy over there, that's key drugs guy. There's also light bulb girl, if you get to see her. Oops, she has a pretty nice hairdo. Light bulb girl. Basically, I used three tools. The RX prep book being the first one. And um, I focused on Key Drugs Guy and Light Bulb Girl. And um, that brings me to my second tool that I used is Anki. So how this works is basically Anki is a memorization tool, so it's sort of like flashcards. So if you look at this here on my laptop, um, I have Anki pulled up and you can see um, the Naplex flashcard set that I have. Um, and what I did was I um, put down important note cards where I have like, you know, here I have all the different disease states for ID and the you know, the empiric therapy on each one. Um, and then here I have like key drugs guy and um, light bulb girls, little boxes, which say, oh, you should memorize this for the exam. Um, and what I would do is every morning I'd go on the treadmill or something for an hour or two and kind of um, do my memorization while getting in a, a quick workout at the same time. And then secondly, what I would do is, um, I'd highly recommend getting a, a test bank. Sort of like, you can either do the Kaplan test bank or the RX prep one that they have. Um, it's really helpful with focusing what, on what you should learn and where your deficiencies are because this is a huge book, it's a thousand pages. So you're not gonna read every single one of these thousand pages. It's, more important to pick out the key facts that you don't know from pharmacy school or from rotations. So um, definitely doing those questions helps you out. Um, for the MPJE, I took about uh, five days. So same, same study schedule. In the morning, I'd spend an hour or two on the treadmill memorizing. And um, in the rest of the day, I'd uh, kind of just read and, and do questions and figure out where my deficiencies are. So I basically have two um, disclaimers. Um, for, for the first one, I think it's important that um, you guys have a, people who try to cram this exam have a solid foundation. So, you know, either you've had a lot of clinical, clinical appy rotations or um, I think a general like idea is if you have a GPA from pharmacy school over 3.5 then 
I think you probably have a good foundation of pharmacy knowledge, so you don't really, you know, you don't need to study that much of the past material. Now, the second disclaimer is I did I did cram, <laughs> like um, I remember I'd sleep on the couch because my room was so messy and littered with paper and notes everywhere that um, I'd have to sleep on the couch and um, every day I'd wake up. I'd do my treadmill for two hours and then I'd go upstairs and I won't come back until like 6 or 7 p.m. And then I'd be like done for the day and like watch Netflix and go to bed. And then it would be the second day like on repeat. So um, for three weeks, I did the same thing every single day. But, uh, you know, I'm not regretting it now. So uh, I think you can put in the time. Um, if you put in the time, it should definitely work out. Yeah, that's it. I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to be taking the CPJE because um, I am going to be practicing in California. Um, that's why I'm in San Francisco. Yeah, so uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. See you guys next time.